Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my coffee time with God. Today I have an Americano with almond milk and a splash of cinnamon and brown sugar syrup. Coffee bean is kicking horse. Recently, I was reintroduced again to the Enneagram. Uh, one of our staff from our church actually asked me to take this Enneagram again. So I took it. And if you know what this is, is a personality test. And it helps you to understand yourself. And I am actually a type 2, a supportive advisor. And I believe this is not the only way, but it's a good way for you to understand your personality. Uh, for type 2, I am described as caring, warm, empathetic, thoughtful, uh, appreciative, generous, other-oriented, affectionate, well-intentioned, and demonstrative. But it also points out my own conflict side that I can be people-pleasing, flattering others, being possessive, clingy, sed seductive, self-important, self-deceptive. And at best... Type 2 is described as this. We are encouraging, loving, self-nurturing, joyous, humble, forgiving, gracious, and compassionate. And as I ana uh, analyze this report, I can agree 80% of what it's telling me. And it's a good way for me to understand myself. Because I see a lot of myself in this report. And one of the biggest things I need to realize is, how do I discern? Discernment is actually very crucial on how I react to a situation. Today in Abba's Heart Devotional, we see in 1 King chapter 3, verses 16 to 28, the wise ruling of Solomon. Uh, prior to this, he actually had a wish that God asked, I'll give you anything you want in this world, what would you want? And he actually asked God for wisdom. Imagine if God gave you a blank check and yet Solomon was able to be humble enough not ask for anything of this world but ask for wisdom. And because of his humbleness, the Lord gave him beyond what he asked for. Even long life. And here, the story comes where you get to see his discernment. Here, two people came arguing about a baby, and we are very familiar with this story. There's only one baby that's alive. One is dead, and both women is fighting for the live one. In the middle of this argument, Solomon decided to bring a sword. And in his judgment, he wanted to cut the baby in half. One for the one, one for the other. I wonder what everyone was thinking who was present at that moment. Therefore, one where the woman says, don't cut the baby. And she said, give the baby to the other one. Solomon was wise enough to see which mother had the mother instinct. And he knew which, ba who, which mother this baby belonged to. Oftentimes in our life, in our journey with God, we also need to possess discernment. Do you have these sermons? So today, I am praying for myself, my family, and you, that we will have the sermon of the Lord. I'm praying for you today to have the sermon of the Lord. So if you find this content helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you, and I will see you tomorrow.